Hi, I'm Mike, founder of GoodBed.com. Today we're going to be showing you two new higher-end models from Tempur-Pedic called the Luxadapt Firm and the Luxadapt Soft. Both of these are going to be sold for $39.99 for the Queen mattress and they're replacing some uh, earlier Tempur-Pedic models that you may have read about or you maybe even have. Um, specifically the Contour Rhapsody Lux and the Cloud Lux. Uh, and we're going to talk about the features and characteristics of these mattresses, uh, how they compare to each other, and maybe how they compare to previous tempur models you may have seen. So stick around. So the main thing that's brand new in the two Lux Adapt models is a new material called APR Plus. Uh, and this is meant to be tempur most advanced pressure relieving material that they've ever made. Uh, and the, the one difference in terms of the soft model versus the firm model is that the, uh, this APR Plus material is found in a slightly different location in the two models in that in the firm model it's the top layer and in the soft model it's one layer down in the mattress underneath uh, a softer temper material on top. But in both cases what you're getting uh, relative to the Pro Adapt line which is one step down um, is you're getting 20% more total temper material in terms of like how thick uh, the temper material on top of the mattress is. One feature of these new Lux Adapt models that we wanted to show you is this cover here. And this is a cover that is removable very easily with this little zipper here. Um, this part here, by the way, is sort of a stretch uh, undercover, it does not come off. Uh, but this uh, top surface cover comes right off and you can throw it in the machine, uh, washing machine and, and wash it. Um, the, uh, that, by the way, is a feature that is shared by the Pro Adapt models as well. Um, and another unique thing about this cover that is, that is actually uh, shared across all the new Tempur-Pedic models is this, the material that it uses um, and the a characteristic that, that it has, which is a, an inherent coolness to the touch. Certainly vis-a-vis -vis the previous Tempur covers, you can feel a difference in terms of um, a coolness to the touch. And uh, interestingly, that coolness in the case of Tempur-Pedic's uh, material here is achieved in a way that will not wash off. So um, specifically, a lot of times these days when we see a mattress cover that has kind of an inherent coolness to the touch, it's achieved through the application of a phase change material to the fabric. Um, whereas in the case of these Tempur-Pedic covers, it's achieved through the integration of high density fibers into the fabric. That these high density fibers, by virtue of just being high density, feel cooler, much the same way a high density material like marble will tend to feel a little cooler to the touch than something like, say, wood. Um, and so in that way, they've cleverly uh, come up with a way to achieve a coolness to the touch with it, that, that, won't, uh, that will withstand uh, washing the cover. So in terms of the characteristics of these new Lux Adapt models, um, I'm going to start with responsiveness because uh, typically that slow responsiveness is the signature feature of a Tempur-Pedic mattress. And I would say that these Lux Adapt models are no exception. Um, you can see here as I put my hands into the mattress, um, you get that very like slow recovery that um, Tempur-Pedic is known for. You can see it even more pronounced if I were to sit on the edge. Uh, this is now the soft model, whereas that was the firm model but both of them exhibit the same slow responding characteristic. And the converse of it is true as well. There is very little bounce in these mattresses. Neither of them feature springs. They're all foam mattresses. Uh, so it, you're gonna get much more of that kind of classic Tempur-Pedic feel from these new models. Another related characteristic that both of these new Luxadat models have in common is what we would characterize as deeper than average cushioning. You could certainly see here that uh, you know, my body is, is definitely uh, sinking into the mattress. It's conforming to me. Uh, it's particularly evident if I get on my side um, where you can really see uh, how my hips get into the mattress. My shoulder is able to get uh, certainly very into the mattress. So uh, we would definitely describe this as a very conforming mattress with deeper than average cushioning. So in terms of some of the other aspects of feel, specifically we, we think about softness, cushioning depth, and responsiveness as we were just talking about. Uh, there is a difference between the softer version that I'm on here and the firmer version. Um, but the difference is uh, principally it, it's in that sort of surface softness. So when you feel this top layer of the um, 
of the softer version, it's actually, um, it's not the APR Plus as we told you earlier. It's, it's something called Temper ES, which is the same material they used in the cloud collection. Um, and it has much more of a surface softness to it that definitely gives you that, that, that immediate softness when you first kind of hit the mattress. Um, whereas on the firmer version, they're putting that APR Plus layer right on top instead of it being underneath a layer of something. And the other layer they're using, the other material they're using in the layer below on the firmer version is their classic tempered material, which was a much firmer material. So, um, but as a result of that, what you end up with is there's much more sort of surface firmness on this um, firmer version. And so for that reason, we would classify the softer version as maybe a medium soft on our softness spectrum. And maybe we would classify this firmer version as, uh, as a firm. On our, on our spectrum. Now, that all being said, that sounds like they're fairly far apart, but um, there's a few things that make them feel, I think, a little closer together than that might suggest. Uh, and that would be, number one, the speed at which these things adapt to your body is actually pretty similar. Um, so if you've uh, experienced Tempur-Pedic mattresses before, particularly ones with that classic Tempur feel, um, so in some cases, that response was very slow. It, was, uh, it took a little while for the, the heat of your body to react with the memory foam uh, and, and, and cause that adapting to happen. Uh, in this case, I feel like they're, they're much closer to each other in that regard. Um, and so that creates more of a similar feel between these two mattresses. And the other thing that creates uh, some similarity in feel is that they both have what we would classify as deeper cushioning, which basically means like more adaptiveness, uh, more conforming, more of that uh, hugged or cradled sensation that you get from sort of sleeping more in your mattress rather than floating on top of your mattress. So they really are both very similar in, in those respects. And for that reason, I think they feel maybe a little closer together than, it, than you might otherwise infer from hearing that one is medium soft and the other is firm. And the other thing we wanted to cover, just in case it's helpful for you, is how these new models compare to models that they are replacing that you may have read about or maybe even have. Uh, and in the case of the softer model, uh, one could say that this is replacing the Temper Cloud Lux. Um, and I would say that this probably isn't quite as soft as the Temper Cloud Lux. Um, it does have a lot of that same kind of conforming and it does have that sort of a little bit uh, quicker adaptability that the cloud line had, but just maybe with, not with quite the amount of softness that you had in the cloud lux. And in the case of the firmer version, uh, one could say that it is replacing the Temper Contour Rhapsody Lux. And in terms of how it compares to, to that mattress, I think the biggest difference would be the this speed at which it conforms uh, to your body. The Temper Contour Rhapsody Lux had uh, that classic kind of uh, temperature sensitive material that, 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 that had that really slow melting into the bed sensation. Whereas this, this new firmer version has a, a relatively similar feel, could even be a, a little bit more surface firmness than the, the Temper Rhapsody Lux, um, but, but definitely a much uh, quicker responsiveness so it doesn't feel firm for long. Uh, you, you quickly get right into it and, and get more quickly to that uh, conformed adapted position than you would have on the, uh, on the Rhapsody Lux. So we hope you found that to be a helpful overview of the new Lux Adapt models from Tempur-Pedic. For more helpful information on how to find the right mattress for you, go to goodbed.com. In the meantime, we thank you for watching and we really hope you sleep well.